here at Roca. Uh, we have a private training facility here because uh, the mats in RGA, Austin, are a little bit too small to wrestle on with the competition team. So we're here doing our private session between the uh, public sessions and uh, getting ready for a competition class. We'll do 30 minutes of standing position probably with John and then 45 minutes of ground drilling followed by about 45 minutes of rolling. In the situation we start off with the train block, we come out and establish contact. We draw a leg into with us and we come straight into single leg situations. I feel my training partner going to an initial stall. We're going to step our foot across our training partner's body and make a quick sweep. So, um, I vary my intensity um, depending on my training partners. Um, I have a lot of guys here who are much smaller than me, um, so I can't go as hard as I as hard as I can with all the guys here, um, because then no one really gets anything out of it. So um, a lot of the stuff now, because a lot of the guys are a lot lower level than, than myself, um, it's just working defensive stuff, um, giving them their prime attacking positions, and then trying to work out from a deficit. Uh, hand to hand, hand to hand. Now left hand reaches, make them square up. We have a couple up and coming guys that are very tough, but uh, no one quite on the world level yet. Um, so a lot of it's just uh, defensive training, working out of bad spots, and coming back from deficits. Does it help if you repeatedly yell, stop resisting, stop resisting? Stop resisting! <laughs> it, it can if you play in a blue uniform. <laughs> That's how most of my training goes, because there's, a, there's always a, a pretty big skill discrepancy between myself and my partners, and a size discrepancy as well. Um, so one of the best ways for me to get better isn't just to play my A game. Um, it's to put myself in bad spots, have my training partner try to finish me, and then go from fully defensive cycles where I'm getting attacked um, to offensive cycles where I escape a submission or I escape a pin, and I go right back into counter offense. Um, so it's one of the one of the best ways to train when uh, when you have people who are much smaller than you and, and not as skilled. Um, look at guys like Hodger, like Hodger Gracie moved to uh, moved to England and was training with white and blue belts and won worlds and ADCC and all these all these other big events. Uh, training with training with lower level guys and he was Hodger was frequently in bad positions, but he never panicked. Uh, he always escaped and he managed to, to win matches. So it's a great way to improve when you're dealing with people who are. Uh, we're trained with people who are not as skilled as you and are much smaller. Uh, terrible and nauseous, like always, that's how I feel. Um, but other than that, good. Um, physically, I feel, I feel great. Technically, better than ever. Um, I just started my medicine for my stomach, so hopefully that will start to kick in soon. Um, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to get out there. And even if I'm not doing a real match, um, just getting out in competition stage and you know warming up for the match and getting out in, the, in front of the audience and in front of the lights is going to be something special. I really love to do that, and I miss it. So uh, it's going to be it's going to be fun.